Hi lovely people, you're welcome to Village Boy YouTube channel and thank you so much for the massive love, massive support from you. I really appreciate you all, God bless you, right? Because this is the guy from the cottage and the kind of love you are showing to this village boy is so awesome and overwhelming. God bless you all and God bless us all. This channel, maybe this is your first time, let me gist you. This channel seeks to save our villages and basically that is why we are here, right? We've created this platform to make sure that we create content about our, the existence of our villages and as well as the uh, situations they find themselves in and how best we can solve their problems. Akuma and Suiti is of no exception, right? They say as, as the adage goes, charity begins at home. So I have started with Akuma and Suiti community. Akuma and Suiti is in the Abamaya Kobo district in the eastern region of Ghana. Yes, of course, Village Boy welcomes you to this platform and of course today we are evaluating something discussing this is very important all right the margin between those living in the cities and those in our villages right real quick this is interesting and very exciting uh, story uh, let me say topic to discuss here because it's very necessary now let, we are taking the city first all right when you go to the city there are a lot of opportunities countless opportunities out there all right so those who are living in the cities have higher or upper hands over those living in the villages why am i saying this all right you woke up in the morning you see a lawyer you see a doctor you see a businessman you see a businesswoman all right doing well in society amazing stuff development you know going on up uh, with a real-time development all right you are seeing real-time development ongoing in a city and so those living in the cities always have some kind of let me say they have role models all right they have role model or mentor to mentor them to become the person they are expecting or they, they, they envisioned to become in future and that is something that is 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 really missing in our villages and so when i said that those living in the cities have upper hands over those living in the villages. Don't get me wrong. That is the basic explanation I can give to you. There's a real-time development. Different people, you know, uh, industry, industry players here and there from, from the academia to industry. You know, we have lawyers, we have doctors, we have, uh, um, I mean, people who are doing so well in society. And so these kids, these young ones growing up in the cities, always have somebody to look up to. But in a village, in a case of the village, there's nothing like that. Now, when you come to Akuma and Suiti, first of all, even before I switch to the village now, the video you are seeing on the screen right now is a video I took on the University of Cape Coast Campus, Central Region of Ghana. You know, students who are going for lectures, you know, and some too, I'm, I'm very much sure they've closed from lectures going to their hostels. Someone who is residing closer or without, we, we, within that vicinity, you see that the person will always have somebody to look up to, to become like the person they are looking up to. But in a village, there's nothing like that. Now, let's switch back to the village. There's nothing inspiring and motivating in our villages. Basically, when you come to Akuma and Suiti, for example, because I always use Akuma and Suiti as an example. That is where I am from. And I want to use data and facts, all right, as my base, you know, to, to I mean, talk about issues because that one will ground me when I'm saying something, will make my, my whatever I say, you know, whatever I discuss on YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel will hold, right? Basically, forgive me if maybe I'm rushing too much. Let me take it cool. All right, so... In our villages, there's nothing inspiring. There's absolutely nothing. Looking at it, you woke up in the morning and all that you see is rock plants. My background depicts, we have plants of uh, banana here, all right? Seven has my, bag my background. I don't know if you love it, but a child, now listen, a child woke, wakes up in the morning now turn around watch the sky bend the head down and look around both left right front back and there's nothing inspiring you know the child would wouldn't be inspired because all the things that the child is seeing or the person i want i shouldn't only use child because there are a lot of adults who have not seen anything that is motivating to them and so there's nothing pushing them 
to move high, pushing them to, I mean, push harder, right? You come to the village and all you could see is rocks. All you could see is stones. You don't see a doctor. You know, I do tell my friend that if a lady or a woman is driving a car, a vehicle, it's a motivation to some of us who are coming from the villages. Some, some may think that what I'm saying is just an illusion. It's something that is, it doesn't hold. It's not, it's not true. It's, I, I'm just being funny. It's not funny. Because hardly you will see a woman driving a car in the village. Even you don't see proper cars. You don't see good cars in a village. Right? So that alone, you know, I mean, a person from the village seeing a woman, to, you know, driving a car. It's 10,000 motivation to the person. Huh? You want me to prove you wrong, right? You want me to prove you wrong. I am one of them. When I see a lady or a woman driving a car, I'm inspired and motivated because of what I've seen. All right? Very, very necessary. If someone who is from the village or the child... Because our future depends on our children, all right? The, the, the child or the people from the cottage, seeing a doctor, a professor, a lawyer, a businessman, a businesswoman, they are going to be inspired. They are going to be fully, fully and 100% inspired to push harder. Now, let me tell you, without my parents, I wouldn't have made it to the university at the first place. Why? Because... There's nothing inspiring. So then, I am not pushed to do anything. I'm not pushed to study harder. Because there's nothing. I don't see any, anything. You see, the effect of someone, you want to become like somebody. All right? You see the person doing well in society. You see that effect. The person has already established him or herself in society. The person is doing so well, marvelously well. You want to become like, a, like that particular person. The effect the impact that the positive effect. I must say, I don't know how to put it in, but the, the, the good thing that a person brings, the spirit, you get connected. And so you push harder all the time. You want to be like the person. You keep on pushing harder. So my parents made it possible for me to go to the university. And today I'm talking to you on camera. It's because of my parents. So if you have guidance or parents who are guiding you, who are asking you, who are pushing you so hard, Right? To always push hard because there are greater things, good things in our cities than you have. But how are we going to bridge this margin? That is the question. Because anything, it, sorry, anytime we discuss something on Village Boy YouTube channel, there should be a solution to it. So that at the end of the day, we are finding solutions to these little, little problems in our villages. So at least the least basic social amenities must be provided for this community. And with that, it's going to help the community or it's going to liberate the people in this community. You know why? When you have electricity, some may afford or some could afford to buy a television set. When it is news time, they will sit down behind the television with their family and watch the person who is presenting, the newscaster or the journalist. They'll be like, wow. They'll be seeing different, different things. They'll be like, wow, I want to become like one. I want to, be like, I, I want to become like this. And that alone is going to change the story of the people who are living in our villages. Some of the people in our villages have chosen a different path. That is, you know, deviant behaviors of social vices here and there. I'm not saying in the cities there are no social vices. But at least... At least, there must be something, there must be solution for this. Provision of portable water, provision of social amenities, like provision of telecommunication network is very key. Provision of electricity is very key. Provision of healthcare is very key in our villages. There should be a solution. You wake up one day, you switch on or you turn on your television set and you are seeing good person, great people on your television set. You also aim to become like one. I rest my case. We'll end this discussion here. We'll continue it later. 
make sure you share this video if you like it thank you so much for making time i'll see you again bye